Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder with On-Call Compliance Solutions and another compliance tip of the week. Today we're taking it all the way back to the beginning with NIST SP800171 Control 3.1.1, limiting system access to authorized users, processes acting on behalf of authorized users, and devices including other systems. So uh, look, what I like to do when I'm answering these is I like to throw out a sample answer. Uh, it certainly may not match your environment, but seeing some sort of a sample answer definitely makes it a lot easier to understand what an assessor might be looking for uh, in terms of an answer from you on some of these controls. Because again, this seems like a pretty extensive control when you really start diving into the wording of it. Uh, but you know, the answer doesn't necessarily have to be so extreme. So uh, here's one sample answer we came up with. Uh, and again, you'll start to kind of learn about the environment uh, that we're using as a sample environment as we go through these. Uh, but the company utilizes an Azure Active Directory services as its system of record for users, processes acting on behalf of users and devices that are authorized uh, to the system. Access is limited for authorized users and processes acting on behalf of user, users via role-based access permissions implemented in Azure. This includes the use of user IDs and passwords and also multi-factor authentication uh, that we think is important. Uh, access is limited for device, devices based on conditional access implemented in Microsoft Intune. So again, we're bringing Intune into this. Uh, Intune enforces restrictions that require that a device be managed or enrolled uh, into Intune before a device is allowed to access the GCC high environment. The company performs review of the Azure user base on a weekly basis, uh, so maybe that's an IT ticket or some other kind of reminder, uh, to ensure that no unauthorized users, processes, accounts, or devices have been added. So again, making sure nothing snuck in there. The company performs setup, review, and maintenance of users, services, and devices within the Azure uh, Active Directory services and Intune environments with the assistance of a third-party managed IT service provider. So again, now we're incorporating the idea of uh, you know, involving a third party in here. So all of which sort of play into the answer, all of which we really want to disclose without going too deeply into the configuration of how we have things set up. But again, it gives an assessor a good enough idea of how the environment is put together and the methods by which you're controlling and limiting access there. So hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171, or CMMC on your own, and looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the link in bio below for more links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any of the forms on the website, or even learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Love the content we're putting out for you. Help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way for us to help you stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to eventually get through. And uh, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know that you like what you're seeing or how we can make it better for you. Uh, when it comes to information security and compliance, we'll see you on the next one.